Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with another Cricut project. So today we are actually jumping into a Halloween shirt. Although this is really an SVG that you could put on anything, but I'm making a Halloween shirt. It is an adorable SVG of a little pumpkin face with a leaping dachshund. Because if you don't know, I have a few dachshunds of my own. Four, I have four dachshunds and my mom has five. So technically I'm winning. I have fewer docks, fewer dachshunds. I have Yorkie. Regardless, that's irrelevant to the actual craft. You can easily switch out that dachshund if you find a different SVG of a different type of dog. Say you have a beagle or a greyhound. <laughs> the actual project we are doing is using holographic iron on. So this comes in blue and it comes in red. And the fun part is that when you put the blue over black, it creates an orange red cast, which is really pretty for fall, but especially for Halloween. So we are going to jump right into this project. It is very easy. I would dare to say under 10 minutes and you can make it even if it's your first time using your Cricut. I'm using my Cricut Maker 3, but you can use your Maker, your Joy, or your Explorer Air 2, 3, 1. It, it's really uh, just a vinyl or iron-on project, so you could use any machine, and I will go over that as we start to cut. But for now, we are going to jump right into the project, and I'm going to show you how to get that fun effect with your holographic iron-on. Let's start by heading over to Cricut Design Space and importing our SVGs. All right, y'all, so now that we have Cricut Design Space all ready to go, we are going to go ahead and load our materials into our Maker 3. You can use a Maker, an Explorer 2, or a Joy for this, although you will have to probably cut the pieces and sections for the Joy, since I don't believe the whole design would fit through the machine. But you could easily cut the dachshund and then the noses. So, well, nose and eyes. We are using holographic iron-on for this project in the blue it comes in blue and pink and surprisingly when you put the blue over the black it reads as red orange and when you put the pink over the black it reads as blue purple so holographic light bending for you we are using the blue version so that we get a halloweeny type design and i've gone ahead and i've already cut my vinyl and placed it on my mat this top part doesn't want to stay down but this is a very quick design so i'm not too worried about it go ahead and open our machine turn it on now it should connect to cricut design space because i already have cricut design space up and running all right so we are going to go ahead and select holographic iron on Remember that when you're doing iron on, you do need to make sure the clear sheet, the carrier sheet is is down, shiny side down, and we are cutting into the back of our piece here. So we want to make sure mirror is turned on. Although in this design, the only thing that would happen if you forget to turn mirror on is the dachshund would be jumping left instead of right. Of course, if you forget any of this, that is okay. Cricut will tell you before you start, it will remind you to make sure mirror is turned on and your iron on material is face shiny side down. So you don't have to remember 
Cricut always, they're, they're very good about laying out all the directions. All right, I'm gonna smooth that down a little bit and we're going to hit go. I'm gonna let this go in real time because it should be very fast. The hardest part will be the fringe on the dachshund. I need to re-sticky my mat. Dachshund. All right, it is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and weed this baby. It's not as important with iron-on, but I do always just like to peel my mat away from my piece instead of my piece away from my mat. Dun, 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 dun. Can you see the dachshund? Can you see it? I don't think you could see it. Of course, you could use an SVG for any breed of dog you like, but you guys know I have quite a few pupperoonies. Five to be exact, and four are dachshunds. So go ahead and we will weed this guy. All right, so I've grabbed a little corner of this with my weeding tool. And we're going to simply peel it off. It really should come very easy. Like we shouldn't have any issues. Look at that little doxy leaping. Look at him. All right, so we're just gonna keep going around. You can see even the fringe. Now I did, you can see I did tear it there since I didn't follow the curve, which that's not part of the design. But just so you know, if you tear or if you pull too hard against where the cut is, like there, you will tear it if you're not paying attention. So use light pressure and you'll be fine. As long as you do light pressure, it really does follow the design. Hardest part is keeping it from curling up when you're doing this. Right, we've got nose left and the top of the pup. I was like, where is the nose? Found it. Should be easier if I had a second brayer to put at the top. <laughs> all right, you're all set. So. Look how cute it is! I love it. All right, so we are all weeded. I started moving these things off and realized my camera had uncamered. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way so we can go ahead and get our heat press ready. Our protective mat. Close my computer. We are done with the Cricut Design Space portion. Now let's uh, get our shirt ready. So like I said, I'm using a black shirt for this. that it's straight because once we get it put on it's on all right. looks perfect all right so I've got my easy press it is set to 330 and 30 seconds for our holographic iron on on 100% cotton, which is what this shirt is. 
and I just used the Cricut heat guide online to determine that. I hate it when these guys get all juiced up. All right, so I'm gonna go based off the center here. I wanna make sure that that nose is it's right in the middle of the shirt. And I want the top about four fingers down from the neck. good. All right, now I'm going to just smooth this down and then we will heat it up. So I'm not 100% sure that my medium easy press will cover the entire dachshund and my mom borrowed my large one. So we have to move it. We will move it. Yeah, we're going to have to do it in two parts. So I'm going to do this half and then the other half. I'm not going to push hard, but I'm just going to keep constant pressure and then we'll switch to the other side. It totally works with the smaller easy press, but the large easy press that can cover an entire design in one go, it does make life easier. Move it over. And you can see how that blue holographic iron-on is orange slash red. It's crazy how that appears on this black base. It's going to look so cool, you guys. Go instead of off. Before I turn it completely off though, we are going to do the back. I always forget that step in the moment. I remember usually. So we're just going to flip it over, lay it flat, and we do the back for about 15 seconds. I'm going to do half and then switch it over. And I'm moving it around a little bit more on this side so that I know I'm encompassing the whole design since I can't see exactly where all the edges are. Now I'm going to turn my heat press off. And I'm going to go ahead I'm going to let this sit. We're going to wait until it is cool to the touch to peel the carrier sheet off. So four or five minutes and I'll be back. All right, it is completely cool to the touch. So we should be able to just peel this carrier sheet off now. And you'll notice the files for this project. I did include this dachshund and also one with points. So if you have a dachshund, like a black and tan or a black and cream, you could make one with the little points for that guy. I wanted to do that with orange glitter um, iron on, but I didn't have any. So I just went with the solid holographic. And I think it looks amazing. If I do say myself, I really wanted to put Happy Halloween-y on it, but I didn't want to mess up the front design and I didn't really want it on the back. So we'll see. By now, um, I finished the files, <coughs> excuse me, and then maybe I'll do a Happy Halloween-y design to go with this for a second shirt. But for now, let me clear all this away and we will take a look at the final shirt. All right, y'all, you can see that they are done. I actually made a second one so that my mama can wear one as well. She saw mine and loved it, especially with that orange shift. 
So I did want to show you a little rabbit. All right, so here's the blue and here is the pink or as it says on the package, red, blue, red. But when we lay these out over the shirt, over that black background, it doesn't have to be a shirt. You can see we get that orange red shift that we have on the shirt and the red gives you that blue green shift. I mean, do you see the difference? And then you pick them up, blue, pink, put them down. <laughs> blue, pink. So that is how they look over a black background. Michelle over at Weekend Craft is the one who showed me this. I asked her if she had a tutorial um, for the really cute Halloween design that she made that she showed me, but it was actually part of her Cricut membership. So she has a monthly membership where you get amazing SVG files as well as a membership site where all of her fantastic Cricut people come together to party and do a craft night live and they hang out and they craft together. So it was one of those craft night lives that she made her shirt in. So I will leave a link below. Her membership is amazing. I am in it just because I love the community of it. And I mean, her SVGs are fabulous. So if you want to join, go check out that link. She is the one that I got this tip from and y'all, it paid off and now I'm able to share it with you. I was just going to make these out of glitter iron on and this is so much better. So I hope you guys liked this project. If you did, I have a whole lineup of Halloween, fall and holiday Christmas projects coming up. So stay tuned. Bye. Cream docs, you say. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween. <laughs>